everyone. Thank you, Emma, for inviting us to speak today. My name is Laura Knudsen-Murray, and I am the GIS Coordinator and Community Outreach Assistant with IRIS-BG. I will be giving a presentation about the inspection module in IRIS-BG and how it pairs with ESRI's field maps. For those of you who are unfamiliar with us, IRIS-BG is a comprehensive integrated software solution that facilitates everyday work with botanical collections whether it is accessioning, sharing plant material with other institutions, creating a virtual tour, or monitoring the health and maintenance needs of trees over time. IRIS-BG serves as a complete botanical collections management solution. IRIS-BG is a community of over 250 institutions worldwide, and 18 of the collections in Australia and New Zealand are managed with IRIS-BG. To discover more about the collections in Australia, New Zealand, or anywhere in the world, visit our Garden Explorer website. I will start off by reiterating what many arborists hear often. If your garden doesn't have a tree risk management plan, it will likely be defined for you in court. No one wants that to happen, and that is why tree inspections that include risk management methodologies are critical. There are several risk management tools out there, and we are in dialogue with institutions all over the world, US, Europe, Australia, and others, about further improving the inspection screen so that it can support different risk management methodologies. We are very interested in hearing back from the community. Sydney and Ian, we're looking forward to continue our collaboration with you on improving these modules. Let's open up Iris VG and look at how some of these risk management categories can be added. Under the definitions tab, look for code lists. I edited the inspection condition code list to match some of the risk tolerance categories, which will allow arborists to give a, each tree a determination level upon completing an inspection. Once you have your code list set, let's create an inspection. Navigate to the events tab and select inspections. For this inspection, I will be evaluating the Acera within the Japanese garden. It's critical to select the priority and owner so that you know whose inspection it is. So to populate the items within the inspection, uh, click the ellipse under the item number. To do an advanced search to bring in a list, you can navigate to the taxon menu and select Acer. And to select the item location, you can choose an item location, which in our case is the Japanese garden, and then perform the search. And it populates all of the accessions within those criteria. Don't forget to select all before you select and close. And then it populates your inspection list with the items that you are going to inspect. Go ahead and click save. Now, I had already created this inspection, so I will not save this one. Now we're getting to the one that I had saved. So I would save this and in a future release of Iris BG, we will be able to export this um, report the fields, of course, can be filled in directly in Iris BG and exported via the reports for a detailed Excel file or can be worked on directly. Next, I will give you a demonstration of how to conduct these inspections 
while in the garden using Esri's field maps. This feature will be coming soon in an Iris BG version update where you'll be able to directly export your saved inspection into ArcGIS Online. The ArcGIS connector exports your saved inspection here to the portal as a feature layer that lives in the cloud. You are able to create maps with a fillable form that can be used by one or more arborists in the garden. You use this hosted feature layer to create a map. The map that you configure can be used on or offline. It will synchronize any edits that you or your fellow arborists make back to the cloud. Now let's have a look at how the inspection fields that you saved will pop up in a fillable form for your arborists on their mobile device. Click on the map that you just made within the field maps application. And this is the hosted layer and all of those fields that you are able to edit then populate within uh, field maps. And we save this and it will appear on your mobile device. The Field Maps app works on both Android and iOS products. And now for a demonstration on how it works on a mobile device. This is um, an example on an iPhone. However, the application looks and feels the same on an Android device with more, or a tablet with more uh, screen real estate. So when you enter into field maps, it shows all the maps available to your license. I have maps that are available for offline use. Um, the one that we just created is available for online use. So when you are in the garden, there will be blue locator dot that shows where you are. Um, but since I am not, it does not show that, but it still works from remote locations. Some of the unique features of using field maps are uh, being able to search by a session number uh, or even a QR code. So if you are standing next to a label that has a QR code, it will pull up that record. If you do not have QR codes. You can also search by uh, typing or if you can scan the text on the tag. Sometimes it adds a space. There it is. Um, to edit this field, you tap on the pencil button in the lower left-hand corner. And you'll notice that this particular record um, has a different icon. And that is because as you change the overall condition, the icon changes. So if it is not acceptable, it changes to red. But there are many um, fields that you can fill. You can add photos, uh, check the label status, if it is okay or not okay. If you need to print a new label. Um, once you complete the inspection, you can mark that. Keep it open or exclude it. Uh, the status date is changeable. and enter in the age, the expected lifetime, any of the measurements that you take. Um, if there is damage to uh, root, stem, or branch, you can mark that. And also uh, put in a work order. <laughs> if there, through your inspection, you identify several accessions that need work, we'll create a list of those. Um, you can also add comments um, up to 8,000 characters. Uh, when you are finished with your edits within this record, you can press submit and it will save it up to the cloud. And all of these uh, records will, as you move through the garden, the icons will change so that you know that you have assessed every tree that you need to and the edits will be saved and then moved back into IRSVG with the ArcGIS connector. Thank you. Please contact us if you have any questions and we hope to see you at the 7th Global Botanic Gardens Con 
Prince in Melbourne.